Hello once again, my YouTube people. This is the Killer Nacho, and I am here for part 10 of my uh, Pokemon White playthrough. So last time we defeated this bug guy, and he is uh, he was kind of annoying actually. I'm not gonna lie, and he has all the sticky stuff in his gym that I'm now forced to get out of, which is um yeah, kind of annoying. I have to get all sticky to get out, and it's like a maze, so it's kind of like... Am I going the right way? I don't know. Okay, I think I'm going the right way. So I'm just going to continue going this way. Oh, it is the right way. Ah, there's the exit. So... And now my X transceiver is ringing. So let's go check it out. Hello, Bianca. How are you today? You're stronger and you want to battle me? Well, I would love to KO your Pokemon for experience. I will meet you there whenever I feel like it. Alright, so anyway... Um... So I just got into a big battle or something, so I better, like, uh, you know, level up my team, because, you know, that's a good thing, typically. So let's go to the Pokemon Center, where all teams are healed in Pokemon. And this person will heal my Pokemon, because she is my awesome person. My awesome... I, I can't believe I, that makes no sense. She is, um... Yeah, anyway. So I'm just gonna go into the, uh, PC, and, um, yeah. Actually, I'm gonna deposit stupid monkey thing. Because apparently I don't really need cut for anything, and I think something else can learn cut at this point. So I'm just going to deposit it so it can stop making me sad, because I just... Every time I look at my party, it's like, really sad, because I see it. I'm like, no, stupid monkey, so now it's gone. And this time it's for real. I'm never going to bring that thing back. Alright, so let's buy some super potions, because that's how I roll. Actually, you know, I'm, I am I'm, I have ten. I can... Yeah, let's buy some revives, because those are always useful, because I just know my Pokemon are going to get, like, luck sacked in the middle of a route, and I just don't want to come back every time, so... And now that I'm thinking about it, yeah, probably ten, uh, more than ten super potions would be helpful. So now I have twenty. I have twenty super potions, ten revives. That's probably enough to uh, go explore the next route to get to the next town. So um, just up here, there's one more alley. I think I actually didn't check this one out, actually. Um, there's an alley up here that I probably could have checked out before the gym, but, you know, I forgot about it. So let's do that now. And it's on the way out, so it's just kind of convenient. So in this house, there is a feeling reader. That is very, um, different. And, ah, uh, finally, the old classic name raider. And, uh, you know what, I'll let you na na rate one of my Pokemon. Bacon? That's a great name. It is definitely me. I love bacon. And no, I don't want to change it, you stupid old man. At least it's not like the red, blue, yellow name raider, because he's always like, yeah, I think your name sucks and you should change it. At least this one's kind of polite about it. He says that he, li he likes it, but you can change it. I always thought that the red, blue, yellow name raider was a jerk. Anyway, so up here in floor 11 out of 2, there is um, a scientist who apparently made a secret machine, but with only people with, like, a code word. I think this might be Mystery Gift. I don't know. But anyway, I don't really care about your machine, and apparently he's like, you forgot your password, but I never knew it, so it's not really true. Um, and that is really creepy. Apparently some magical clown knows my name. He probably wants to rape me, so I better leave. Goodbye, French clown that wants to rape me. Goodbye. Alright, so, let's leave this building before I get raped, and, um, yeah, go into this other building across the street where he'll never find me. Hello, old lady. How are you today? I see. That is quite interesting. Oh. So this guy's like a molester, too. Well, hello. You need to check me. Well, what? Hey, 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 hey. That is quite... That is... Bad touch. Bad touch! Ah, oh, man. These Pokemon games these days always trying to molest me, I swear. Alright, so let's go in and talk to this person. Welcome to my party. Aw, oh, neat. And let's talk to the dancer. He wants me to check out his moves. That is quite... You know, well, he's just actually just standing there, so he's not really doing anything, so I don't know. Uh-huh. El Hitler or something. That's the only uh, German I know. Okay, so hello, person. Ah, so I have to get those creamsicle things on Tuesday. Too bad today is Wednesday. I could have done this yesterday, and I would have gotten one of those, maybe, I don't know, one of those ice cream cones. I don't even know what it does, really. I don't know. Hello. Wow. Well, you're a jerk. I hate to be your boyfriend. Do you hear what she said? She said that she tells her boyfriend's Pokemon to use wake-up slap on, her every mor on him every morning. That sucks. I wouldn't want a girlfriend like that. Just saying. But this person's kind of nice and gives me the TM for attractive I'll probably use. I'll have to think about it, though. That person's French, so let's, you know, might as well not talk to that person. I think that's French, too. Maybe this is French. I don't know what language this is. Screw this. Um. Yeah, okay. Oh, so I guess... I guess this is... <laughs> I guess that's the sap boyfriend, yeah. Sucks to be you, dude. I'd get a new girlfriend if I were you. Oh, well, time to leave this building. 
And uh, actually, before I do that, before I forget to, uh, let's uh, see Attract. Um, Attract is a pretty interesting move, and you know what? I'm gonna teach it to a female Pokémon, because I've always noticed in Pokémon games, male Pokémon seem to be, like, dominant. There's always more male Pokémon than females. Probably because there's more male trainers, and male trainers typically have male Pokémon, and female trainers typically have female Pokémon, so I don't know. I'll teach it to my Battle Bug, because my Battle Bug happens to be female, and honestly, I can't see myself using Protect once, so, yeah. It's a good thing. I mean, Protect is a pretty useful move in competitive for certain Pokémon, but it really doesn't have much in-game use, I've noticed. Especially since I have don't have Toxic or Leech Seed or anything else you, like that on um, my Battle Bug, so anyway. So this is the last building, and this person's trying to uh, ask me about something that's... Yeah, no, that's not a very bad idea. It might be a good idea, but you know, you'd have to compete with the daycare service, and that's just impossible, because they also breed. So that person's actually trying to make a business... Uh, uh, po uh, sorry, a business. That makes sense. And this person's gonna give me the Evo Light Stone. Yay! This is a great item. It raises the defense and special defense of my Pokémon. And as I mentioned in a previous video, my Rog and Rolla actually can't evolve to its third form, so I might just stick this Evo Light Stone on him and just not evolve him because Evo Light Stone is ridiculous. It raises defense and special defense by 50% of an unevolved Pokémon, so I just might keep it like that. Not to mention an Evo Light Stone just helps him troll so much more because now he's like his defense were already pretty good, and now he's just like trolling everyone, because it's like, wow. On top of everything else, my defenses are epic. Eat it, jerk. Um, but anyway, yeah, this guy's gonna tell me about the gyms, but I don't really care, so screw you. Now I'm leaving now, and um, yeah, let's go back to floor one, um, because that's apparently the only two floors I can actually go to, and let's leave this freaking city. When, um, I think Bianca said she would meet me somewhere- Oh, there you are, behind me. What is up, Bianca? Yes, I do remember. I was just- I was just saying something about it. What are you doing? Oh. Asking if it's okay. I- I see. Well, you know, knowing you and how you ruined my room, I don't think that's a good idea. Maybe we should, like, step back outside. Or not, we could battle here, but you're definitely paying for it, just like you did my room. If, you know, you mess it up, which is inevitable. Oh, well, so, okay. So, you have a hurt ear, which is awesome, because I put Troll to the front of my party, because he's trolling everything. And I'm about to go into a Sandstorm area, and I just, like, Sandstorm special... Oh, man, it'd be too good. But anyway, that's a pretty nice thing, because hurt is like, normal, so his normal attacks won't hurt me. And I'm just gonna go for my, um... Rot or fighting move. Even though he lowered my attack, it's still super effective. And I get the defense drop, so now I'm pretty sure this is going to be a 3 8 KO, and it looks to be a 3 8 KO, because that's how epic I am. And yeah, there's a, um, he's going to do nothing, and I'm just going to kill him. I think he tried to use it like Identified Me, but I think that's like a move that lets you hit ghost types, and I'm not a ghost type, so that was kind of fail. Okay, so here's Servine, and that is a grass type. And I am going to go out into my bacon, because bacon is delicious, and bacon is also super effective against Servine. Um, actually, I probably could have gone into Battle Bug, too, but it's whatever. I'll just go for my Flame Charge, and it's super effective, and it does not kill, of course, and I get outsped by Servine and get Leech Seated. That's freaking annoying. Oh well, at least it'll be dead now, and I'm pretty sure I outspeed after a Flame Charge, so now it is dead, and that makes me freaking happy. Unfortunately, I think this will probably level up Bacon, and that means he's two levels higher than anyone else in my party. Yeah, oh well. So, level 24 isn't so bad, and here comes Muna, which is a Psychic type, and I will go out to my Battle Bug now, because my Battle Bug has Bug Bite, which is super effective. Oh yeah. Um, and this Muna will... I don't think Muna... I don't know what Muna's defenses are, actually. I don't, I'm just joshing you guys. But I know Battle uh, Bug Bite is stronger, so I'll just go for that. And it's super effective and takes it out. Ah... Yeah, you still kind of suck, Bianca, but that's okay. I love KOing your Pokémon for experience. Oh, here comes Panpour, the stupid water monkey. It's gonna lick me, because apparently it likes to lick bugs. I mean, it is a monkey. That does mean it eats bugs. Too bad it's not super effective, because I'm just gonna go for a Razor Leaf, which is super effective, and that'll kill it. Nice. Aw, oh, am I gonna make Bianca cry? Poor Bianca. Oh. Okay. I mean, I suppose it gives you new experiences. I mean, I'm kind of surprised you're not dead by now. I mean, that's kind of impressive. I think I said in the first episode that you'd probably die, like, half minutes after being by yourself. And you actually survived in the big city. I'm, I'm impressed. After all those rapists tried to, like, rape me. I mean, can't imagine what it would be like for you. Unless there are only gay rapists in the Pokemon world. I don't know. Hello! Ah! Darker Sand equals Pokemon battles. Nice. Ah, but here's Sharon, who's my other rival, and actually probably the rival that's, um, legitimate, 
because Sharon actually does some put up some a little bit of a fight sometimes. Occasionally he'll put up a fight. But anyway, I gotta battle him now before he like gets pissed off. So here's Pidov. I'm leading with my troll in the sandstorm, and I wonder why he was wait. Wait, why the heck are you waiting for someone in the middle of a sandstorm? Wouldn't that like hurt? Wouldn't you wait in like inside like the um? I don't know why he'd do that. He is Sharon after all. He's not really the smartest person, but whatever. Anyway, so I have my sandstorm special defense boost because I am in the sandstorm and I am a rock type, and I'm just going to troll that thing with rock blast, and that is uh, only hits twice, but the sandstorm is enough to take it out. And I have no idea what SmackDown is, so let's check. SmackDown appears to be a uh, ground move that lets him smack down a um, flying type, so it gets affected by ground moves. But I do not really care about that since I only have one ground move, and if I want to kill a flyer, I have rock move, so it's kind of pointless on this guy, so I don't know even why he learns it. It makes no sense. Okay, so let's go out into Battle Bug again, because Battle Bug is like, I'm going to battle everything, because he's going out into Dewat, which is his uh, water type, I think. He's going to, like, hit me with a water type attack. It doesn't do a whole lot, and then I'm just going to hit my Razor Leaf, which almost kills it. He has a berry, but it should be a 2 hit KO. Um,. And I seem to understand, yeah, I seem to understand the uh, importance of the first attack. It's as important as most attacks. And he's going to focus energy, which is, um, well, I see. I guess you see the importance of using a move, a, a stat-up move, before you're going to die. That makes no sense, by the way. You are a terrible battler. I can't believe I even complimented him, saying he was better than Bianca, because so far he really hasn't proven he's much better than Bianca at all. Anyway, so here comes Fetus, because uh, he's going out into his little fire monkey, and actually I'm only level 20, like, I'm the only level 22 as Fetus, so might as well. It has Bite, which is kind of annoying, and I'm just going to, like, use the wrong move, because that move is actually weaker than my other move, so yeah. Oh well for that, I suppose. I'm actually going to yawn it now, because I know he's too stupid to switch. Um, he's going to yawn me back, so I guess touche, touche. Unfortunately for you, I'm smart enough to switch and you're not. So I'm going to go out into, I guess, my troll, because my troll resists fire, and that's, you know, typically a good idea. Uh, so let's go out into troll now, who has the Eva Light Stone and a Sandstorm special defense boost for rock types. You're not going to touch me. Except he goes... Yawn again, so I guess you predicted the switch. That was actually a decent play, except you forgot one thing. Now you're asleep, so you can't possibly yawn me when you're asleep. Actually, that makes more sense, because typically... Well, no, you yawn before you sleep, so yeah, that makes sense. Anyway, so I'll go out in my fetus now, because, um, yeah, he's asleep. And I'm just gonna go for the Psy Beam, which I think is the good one. Um, he's gonna yawn me again after he wakes up first turn, which is kind of annoying, but he shouldn't... He should die to the Psy Beam. Yeah, he dies to the Psy Beam, because my fetus is a beast, man! Man, my Fetus being a beast and stuff. Okay, here comes Lyperd. His last Pokemon is a Dark type, so obviously Fetus is getting out because I... Well, I can't really stay in anyway because, yeah, he's gonna fall asleep. My Battle Bug is pretty darn good at taking out these Dark types, being a Bug type, so I am just gonna stay in and go Bug Bite because Bug Bite is, like, super effective. And he's gonna Sand Attack me, which means I'll probably miss. But I don't! Oh, snap! I actually didn't get unlucky, like, always. Whenever the... Computer or wild Pokemon seem to use sand attack you can never hit. I'm actually really surprised I hit. Anyway, so, um, apparently that guy says my trust in my Pokemon is what puts me over the edge, but not really. Actually, my Pokemon are just higher level and I'm just better than you and I'm not stupid. That's what puts me over the edge. But anyway, so Bianca's probably in trouble because, uh, yeah, they, she can't contact her, so it means she's probably getting raped because she did go back to that city. Oh well, I, to I, can, I, I called it. Anyway, the professor wants to meet us in the next town, but, you know, I'm really good at putting things off. No one seems to care when I, like, spend five hours, you know, not capturing, you know, two days, um, not chasing the evil team. But, yeah, actually, let's go over here, explore a little, maybe get some of these Pokemon items, and, um, yeah, battle these trainers. It's never a bad thing to explore. And, um, yeah. I did take Troll out of the front of my party, uh, basically because I don't... I know the wild Pokemon here can probably hurt Troll a lot, and Battle Bug can usually take care of them, so I'm just going to use that. Anyway, this person actually has a Tim Pool, which is good too, because that's a water type, and I can just Razor Leaf its face off, and that's what I do. Um, and I'm level 24. Hooray for Battle Bug! Good job, Battle Bug. Um, and here comes another Tim Pool, and I am going to switch because I want to go out into my uh, level 23, which is my fetus. My fetus is still uh, taking up the rear of my team. Probably because of a lot of things that seem to counter psychic types I've been fighting lately, so that's life. 
It's gonna go for a Bubble Beam, which lowers my speed. What a jerk. And I'm just gonna go for a Psy Beam, which one-hit KOs. So my fetus is still pretty darn powerful, that's all I gotta say. Anyway, that person feels the need to, um... Spell out Sandstorm, as if we didn't know, because if we can play this game, we can read. Hello, I don't know what she's doing. I don't know. Anyway, so here's a wild Pokemon, a Sandile. It's a dark, um... Ground type, so as I said, Battle Bug is the prime choice for such things. He's gonna intimidate me, but that's like, okay, whatever. Um, and I'm just gonna try to kill it. He goes for a sand attack, so I probably will miss, and I don't miss again! Man, ba this has been awesome! I'm actually been hitting through sand attack. Oh yeah. And actually, I was thinking about using Sand Dial in this playthrough, because I used it in my first playthrough, and I really. He's actually one of my favorite Pokemon in this generation. Sand Dial in his evolved forms. I, th I really like it. But then I decided not to. I mean,. I, be th I was thinking about it, but then I'm like, I want to do something else. I mean, I only have two more slots on my team. I need a Surfer, I think. And a Flyer would be nice. But at the same time, I don't need... I, I don't probably need a Flyer, so I might not get a Flyer. I don't know. But either way, Sand Isle doesn't really fit in. And, um... I already used it once, so let's, let's try some room for a different Pokemon. I have a pretty good idea of a Pokemon I want to catch in this area. I wonder if you guys can catch what it... or guess what it is. I'll give someone a cookie if they can guess. I think it's in this area. But anyway, I'm gonna kill this thing, and, um, yeah, it was kind of annoying because I forgot this thing had sturdy, and it's gonna mess me up with rock, uh, you know, that rock move. But anyway, I survived with one hit points after the, um, sandstorm, so that's pretty lucky of me. I'm gonna go out into my fetus, to Psybeam, because this timber happens to be a fighting type, and that is super effective, and fetus, I think, is my only level 23, so it's just good stuff. He was gonna go out in a rock and roll, and I don't think this thing has great special defense, even in the sandstorm. Um, so I'm just gonna stay in and try to side beam it. It'd probably be a two hit KO. Actually, it's a one hit KO, except he has dirty. Oh, fun. He's gonna go rock blast, but uh, this thing isn't weak to rock like my battle bug is, and it hits twice. So I think he hit like four or five times against my battle bug, and that was kind of annoying. Anyway, so now this thing's dead, and that makes me happy. And I have defeated Worker Gus. What a name, Worker Gus. You have a great name, sir. All right. So anyway, I think I think I'm about done for this video. I will heal my Pokemon and then save. So, uh, yeah, rate, comment, subscribe, and see you guys next time, which will be part 11. Yes, 10 plus 1 is 11. None of you saw that coming. All right, peace out, jerks.